A U.S. legislator has described video game Star Wars Battlefront II as a Star Wars-themed casino and has said he will seek legislative action that will prohibit sales of games to underage players that feature loot box mechanics. In a statement uploaded to YouTube, Hawaii State Representative Chris Lee condemns what he describes as predatory practices in video games, with specific example, made of electronic arts say a Star Wars Battlefront 2. The aim is to ensure future protections for kids, youth, and everyone from the significant financial consequences it can have on families, according to Lee. Lee describes Star Wars Battlefront 2 as a Star Wars-themed casino designed to lure kids into spending money, following controversy over the last couple of months where players have been accusing air of bad practices in the design of their game. Players can receive loot boxes that contain random rewards. They can earn these through playing the game or by purchasing loot boxes with real money. The 22nd of November the 2017, 506 p.m. GT Sport Cars, Updates, Patches, Everything You Need to Know The loot boxes were initially changed following a public beta test, as players believe that buying loot boxes with real money gave a player an advantage over others. This WASNT Deemed to be enough, a certain hero characters like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker were still very expensive, and so Aya changed things so that those heroes were less expensive. Eventually, Aya made the call to turn off in-game purchases for these loot boxes. They will return once Aya have made some changes to how they work, but for now, players can only receive loot boxes through play, and not through real money purchases, in his statement as State Representative Lee said that the fact that children are not psychologically and emotionally mature enough to gamble means there must be protections put in place. Officials in Hawaii have also been talking with several other states who are also looking gambling in video games as they want to address the issue before it becomes the new norm. He states that Hawaii legislators are looking to put laws in place this coming year. Hawaii State Representative Sean Quinlan brought up the example of Joe Camel in relation to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Joe Camel or Old Joe was a mascot for Camel cigarettes between 1987 and 1997, advertising the cigarettes as a suave caricature Camel in a suit. It was argued in 1991 that Joe Camel was marketing cigarettes at children and following pressure over the next six years, and after a settlement out of court, Camel cigarettes stopped using the character of Joe Camel. It has since become an example of how advertising and marketing adult products with a mascot can directly or indirectly influence children. Quinlan flatly stated that we didnt allow Joe Camel to encourage your kids to smoke cigarettes, and we should nt allow Star Wars to encourage your kids to gamble. Five people gave statements, including Quinlan and Lee, all bringing up the importance of the issue. Legislation will likely take time to pass through channels, but will likely affect the video games industry as a whole, as other major games like FIFA 18 over, League of Legends, and more include loot box or loot box-like elements. Yeah, directed a request for comment to the Entertainment Software Association ESA. We have requested comment from the ESA and will update when we receive a response.